Hey creeps, it's Cameron again and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And on this episode of Library Macabre, I will be reviewing The Toy Maker by Sergio Gomez. What do you get when you combine Slappy the Dummy from the Goosebump series by R.L. Stein with Pennywise from Stephen King's It? You get The Toy Maker by Sergio Gomez. This coming of age novel focuses on a group of kids in the 90s that accidentally raises an ancient evil from its slumber, which in turn possesses a creepy dummy born from a local toy maker. Now it is up to the children to fight this evil being and put an end to its killing spree. The Toymaker has the fun 90s campiness of Stein's famous Goosebump stories while also containing darker elements that are reminiscent to King's stories. Even though the book doesn't take itself too seriously, it really did have a lot of heart that made me care for the characters, which is very important. This is made possible by the amount of time that we spend with each character as the book is a good hefty 600 pages long. If you like big books, then getting through this one shouldn't be a problem for you. I, on the other hand, uh, tend to have a hard time getting through heavier tomes just because I tend to kind of get burned out in the middle of the book and I often have to take a break uh, and read something else and come back. It's just something that's always happened to me with bigger books. Very, very rarely does that not happen. I think the only time when that never happened to me was when I was reading the Harry Potter books. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do get burned out and I do tend to stray away from bigger books most of the time. And the same can be said for this one. There was a point in the middle of the book where I started to get tired and I had to put it down for a little bit and read something else. So if you are like me and you don't really tend to like bigger books most of the time, then just be forewarned about that when you go into this. I mean, I still recommend picking it up. It just does take some time to get through if you tend to struggle getting through bigger books. On another note, as a 90s kid, I really appreciated all of the references to uh, 90s pop culture, but I also appreciated the fact that the book did not feel oversaturated with those references at any point. So if you watched, uh, say, season three of Stranger Things and you thought there were too many 80s references, uh, this isn't like that. Uh, I love Stranger Things, by the way. I'm not dissing it. But I just wanted to say that this does not ever feel like it's too much. It's, it's just the right amount. Those references also serve to remind the reader that we are not in the modern day. We are in a time where cell phones are not readily available and neither is the internet. Instead, the kids must communicate with each other, you know, the way we used to do when we were kids, face-to-face, uh, -face, riding bikes together on breezy autumn days. This offers an authenticity to the book that wouldn't have been present if it had taken place in modern times. Other than the length of the book and the slower pace, the only other thing that really kept me from enjoying The Toy Maker fully was a handful of awkwardly worded sentences. Those are very few and far between, and I thought that the book was very well put together overall. Uh, but other than that, I thought this was a very, very fun read, and I do highly recommend it, especially for people who like, uh, say, It by Stephen King or the Goosebump series. If you're a 90s kid, I think you're really going to dig this like I did. And I'm very, very excited to read Sergio Gomez's other book, which is called Camp Slaughter, which I actually have right here. Uh, seems like it's going to be a really good uh, summer read, so that's going to be very, very soon. I would also like to say a very big thank you to Sergio for sending me a copy of The Toy Maker. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to buy a copy for yourself, of course, links are going to be down below in the graveyard. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Later, creeps.